Hello! This video is going to go over the film reel sizes. Now, when film was originally shot, it went into a camera and a cartridge like so. And then you put that in there, and some of you guys might remember this. Um, and put it in, used it all up, and then it was, it was used up. Uh, you ejected it, and then you sent this off to be developed, or you went to Walgreens, it was developed just like uh, 35 millimeter. Uh, pictures in your camera. So a lot of people have questions about whether the film is blank or whether it's all been used up. And if uh, you've got film, it's all going to be used. Unless you left the lens cap on, you had to use all of it up uh, before the camera would eject it and be safe to take it out. So if you've got any hard black cartridges like this, then um, and the film is brown like so, um, it needs to be developed. Now if you look on it, and it says, it doesn't say exposed on this area here. This has never been used, it's just a blank cartridge. If it does say exposed, um, then it has been used. There are two places in the country, basically, uh, that you can send your film off to be developed. It's around about 30 to $35 a roll, um, and it's called Rocky Mountain Film Lab, is a place in uh, Colorado that we recommend. And um, anyway, once that came back from the developers, uh, it came on a reel, like so. A lot of people are going, aha, that's what I have. They came in yellow boxes, like so. Um, you've got the different far, uh, gauges. You've got regular 8 and super 8, 16 millimeter. It doesn't matter. We've got memories here. We are just one flat rate, regardless of gauge. Uh, the only gauge that uh, is a slight additional charge is super 8 sound, and we'll go that into that in a second. So you've got the 3 inch 50 foot reels. Some of you might have boxes that say 25 feet on them. And basically, it's a double roll, and when the film's developed, uh, you put one side of the camera in with the cartridge, use 25 feet, and then flipped it over on the other side and used the other 25 feet. Sent it off to be developed, and it was then spliced together to make 50 feet. If I haven't confused you, you can rewind this video and go over that quickly again. But at the end of the day, the reel is going to be 50 feet. So uh, you might have some with uh, blue cases like so. And um, the film width, as you can see here, 8 millimeter. The sprocket holes are larger on regular 8 and then you've got 16 millimeter um, here which you can see the difference in the width there. Um, it's got holes on both sides uh, typically with 16 millimeter. Now the reel sizes um, you've got the 50 foot 3 inch reels the next size up is the 4 inch 100 foot reels which is more prevalent in 16 millimeter and then you go up to the 5 inch 200 foot reels so all of the, you've got four of these were spliced together or edited together on one of these reels here and this is an easy one to figure out you can put a DVD right over it and it's pretty much exact uh, next you've got the 6 inch 300 foot reels and then you've got the uh, popular 7 inch 400 foot reels right here and you can fit eight of the 50 foot reels on here and uh, a lot of people have questions whether the film uh, is splices or anything or the film is bad um, we check everything if the film is bad we can't transfer it there's no charge we take care of splicing um, and anything that's to be expected with film so there are no hidden charges here unless your film is completely mangled there are no extra charges um, also film being any good um, this right here is about 60 year old film. If you've got like a nice clean sheen to it, it's all symmetrical on the circle, it's healthy. If film is going bad, you smell it, and it smells of vinegar, eh, there's a little bit of an issue there, but it's still not the end of the world. If it is all kind of wavy on the outside and you get the film and you bend it back and it snaps in your hand, all the film is like curled in like a U shape, like so, then you've got some issues there. We all say bring it in, send it in, uh, and we do our best to retrieve the old film, even if it is in bad shape. Uh, on 16 millimeter, the reels do go a lot larger. Here we've got a 1600 foot reel, and here's a 2000 foot reel. So you can see the difference in the size variance uh, are quite great. And another common question, does my film have sound? Um, very small percentage of film has sound. On Super 8, you've got a tiny gold strip on the underside of the film opposite side of the hole and also on the sprocket holes there's a tiny gold strip there. That's the magnetic film strip. Uh, two types of film, uh, sound film, optical and magnetic. Magnetic is prevalent on uh, Super 8, very very rare on regular 8 um, and that track was recorded after the fact, not at the time of recording. Super 8 sound, simultaneous audio and video. With 16 millimeter, 
Um, you've got magnetic, which is um, from about the late 70s, which was added afterwards. More popular is optical, and the way that you can tell if there's sound on your 16 millimeter is get past the leader tape and have holes just on one side of the film. Magnetic on the underside will be a gold strip, pretty thick. Optical is clear. If you hold it up to the light, you can actually see, it's like a heart monitor with all these waves going up and down. That's the optical soundtrack. And that is typically from movies, from documentaries, just commercially shot prints. Um, and that's, uh, you won't see that on your home movies. Um, so that is an overview there of the film sizes. And again, you can click on the page next to me here. Um, you will see a real size chart that you can actually print off on your printer. And it is pretty exact, depending on your printer. And you can hold your reels up against the piece of paper to see exactly what you have. And then do a tally and go to our store and see if there's some footage totals there that uh, you can get a deal on. Or you can click above me, click get a quote, and then fill out the form online, submit it, and then we'll uh, email you back a link that goes to your quote um, online, and it usually goes in your junk mailbox, so keep an eye there. Anyway, um, any other questions, just click back to FAQ, and then just scroll down the list and see which one pertains to you there, and we'll get you taken care of.